How do you everybody? In today's opening, as you can see before you, we have six single pack blisters for Sun and Moon base. Also in this video, little comparisons for all some of the perfect fit sleeves, as you can see, that I found online when I was shopping for my usual perfect size fit sleeves for my card. Now the thing is with these, the old say perfect fit from Max Protector, perfect fit from Dragon Shield, and perfect size from KMC. Now I know these fit the Pokemon because I use them all the time. I'm not sure if these fit the po Pokemon at the moment, of course. Uh, I've looked on the sizes on the back, the different sizes that they give 64.7, 85.9 by 63 and 88. I don't think they're the same size. They're not the same size as the Pokemon when I said, looking at the size there. So that's why I have different cards with me from different card games. I have some Yu-Gi-Oh! I have some Magic the Gathering. I even have some Pokemon. And I have some Power Rangers. My favourite one there. Anyhow, so we'll go through each of them, each, each sleeve, see which fit which cards the best. And then we'll save the, the Pokemon blisters till last. This, as you saw, is Max Protector. Perfect fit. Official sponsors of the shuffle, they say. They measure 64.7mm by 85.9mm. We start off with Yu-Gi-Oh. Too big for Yu-Gi-Oh. As you can see. Straight off the bat, too big, so I would not recommend them for Yu-Gi-Oh. Move the Yu-Gi-Oh to one side. And Smouldering Werewolf from Magic the Gathering. They do seem to fit, but they are... This top edge is in line with the top of the card. I'm not sure how, what to say about that, but we'll get to that. We'll come back to that point later, later on. He says, hopefully. We've got a Zora break from Pokemon, obviously, as you know. And again. The card top of the sleeve is in line with the top of the card. And as I'm off, off sorted out my pals off camera, maybe I should have done that in the first place. This is the Power Rangers Pink Mega Force Ranger. And the card is too big for the sleeve. As you can see. Got the well. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's about five millimeters too big, if that, of course. So I would not recommend, to be honest with you, Max Protector for your trading card games, especially Power Rangers and Yu-Gi-Oh. Next up, we shall attempt to with the Dragon Shield. Comes double sleeve, which is nice. I like that. So do KMC. They also come double sleeve. That's a that's a tick in the wind pile for both of them. And we try Mewtwo. Well, Mewtwo EX from Pokemon. If we can open it up. You hear that? Thin, thin material used. Nice, nice fit. Yep. Got a little lip on the top. Let's try other ones. Try this Dino Megazord from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And it's about half a millimetre too big. So I would not recommend Dragon Shield for your Power Rangers action card game cards. So 
if I can get that out. And we shall go on to Smoldering Werewolf again from Magic the Gavin. Seems to fit. Again, just like the Pokemon, because of the same I believe they're the same size card. Nice snug fit, if you want of a better word. Which means with gear the Fierce Knight from Yu-Gi-Oh! It's too big. So I would not recommend Dragon Shield for your Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Which me leaves us with KMC Perfect Size Fit. Those who know me know that I like KM KMC myself, as do other Poketubers. But we shall try it with my favourite Power Ranger first. They're not as thin as the Dragon Shield one. And it fits, got a little lip at the top, which is bigger than the card itself, which is the very good plus point there. So that's a win in the Power Rangers column for KMC. And we have Dark Gyarados, pre-release for the Team Rocket card. Nice condition, so you want to protect it, of course. Because if I was getting graded, it wouldn't be a Gem Mint 10. Because it is, has been played. Nice, snug, tight fit. Again, with the lip at the top. That's a plus. Next we have Thousand Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh! Again, they're too big. So I would not recommend any of these sleeves for your Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Maybe they are some sleeves for Yu-Gi-Oh! That fit perfectly, but none of these three. Dragon Shield, no. KMC, no. And Max Protector, no. For Magic the Gathering, of course, snug, tight fit. And just to prove it, here's a second card. So yes, as you can see, with Graph Rats and Midnight Scavengers, we have... Now, two nice snug fits, which, if you see the symbol in the corner, if you know your Magic the Gathering, you know that means it's double facing. With some, you can have half a card, it's double faced. Or, oh, I didn't bring one down. Or it's just like a normal card with its double facing. But yes, I think that one, yes, as you can see, there's an example of it double faced normals. Double face two of. So yeah, for for your Power, Rain, Power Rangers, I'd recommend KMC. For your Yu-Gi-Oh, I wouldn't recommend any of them. For Magic: The Gathering and Pokémon, you look at KMC and Dragon Shield. For your Max Protection sleeves, I wouldn't recommend any of these cards at all. They're just not good. But if I have to be personal, well, it's my video, so I'm allowed to be. <laughs> um, I wouldn't recommend Dragon Shield because I'll just get a sleeve here compared to a KMC one. It feels thinner and more flimsier, whereas that one stiff, slightly stiffer, as you can see. This is Dragon Shield, perfect fit. This is KMC perfect size. Just feels better in the hand. And if you're going to scrunch it up, as you can see, it does pants back to the original size. Well, eventually it does. And I'll just do the te test here. Nice strong seal on it. I'm pulling apart as much as I can. But it will eventually break. So that's a plus for the Dragon Shield there. The KMC. Perfect size fit you're looking at. Well the easy tear. <laughs> the two easily tear. As you see. I'll do a second one. Just to make sure that wasn't a fluke.
as you can see. Third, just to test it. They are strong sealed, but it depends on how far your fingers go into the sleeve when you're testing it. As you saw with the first one, it wasn't that it wasn't that good. And since I tested three of KMC, it's only fair that I test three of the Dragon Shield. I got more than three there. And this is the third one. Yeah, so uh, pretty much uh, for the um, tight seal tight on the sleeve, I would edge it towards Dragon Shield than KMC. But for the flexibility of the sleeve itself and the um, storage, for want of a better word, I would go for KMC any day of the week. That's just my partial opinion, impartial opinion, sorry. Yeah, my, my um, own opinion, of course. Yours may be different because to each their own, as they say. Well, yes, that was my review. Just nice, hopefully quick review there of all the sleeves I currently, currently ordered because I wanted to do this nice little review before using the sleeves which I thought was best for any port we are receiving here. Of course the promo sleeves will be going in the Dragon Shield ones and any pulls will go in KMC. Each blister comes with a pack a code card, which I believe you just get the uh, promo card, which is Picky Pack on the online. If you do, please comment down below. I would appreciate that. And the obligatory Pikachu coin. Nice if you like your Pikachu, of course. And we'll go, we'll go pack by pack. I have recently opened a boost box of. Sun and Moon base. I shall link it up in the excuse me in the iCard below, so you can go and watch that one. Please, hopefully, if you haven't already, and hopefully press the thumbs up, especially the first half. And if you hear any background noise, I do apologise. It's people outside walking past the house, talking to one another. Toy Cat reverse uncommon, awesome, and the Vanna pack is. Regular rare, non-holographic power sex. So first off the bat, Picky Pack doesn't get any pulls, unfortunately. Try for Rockruff. Who wants to open up for me? Have a Decidui pack. Code card for everybody for Rockruff. The Rockruff promo card, which I popped on this side, and the Pikachu coin. If I open the pack, I shall pop these in the sleeves as I promised you. One, two, three, and a four, and a two. Water energy, Pamas, Young Goose, Shelda, Zubat, Stuffle, Lola Matata, Dartrix, Great Ball. The reverse is Diglett, just a common card. And the last card in this pack is Gumshoes GX 
Awesome. So that gets a sleeve here, which is nice. Got the nice pull there. And I'll give you the code card for the cinnamon pack. Pack. and we have the code card for the picky pack and we have the picky packs obviously slightly bent to there unfortunately and the obligatory Pikachu coin would be nice if the picky pack promo card came with a picky pack coin if you agree with me, press the like button and comment down below, of course. <laughs> One, two, three, and a four, and a two. Fire Energy, Rowlet, Young Goose, Torkoal, Litten, Stuffle, Cracker Rock, Energy Retrieval, Rishi Washi, Cloister Reverse Rare, awesome, that will get you sleeve in a second. And the last card in the pack is Lorantis GX. <laughs> so, there's the code card for the Lorantis. And I just need to pick, get sleeves for the GX pulls and for the Reverse Rares. And the Hollow Rares, of course. Can you see that? Over there, pop that there. Hopefully, you can see that. Who wants to open for me, of course. Topping it does. There's the Decidui pack. Your promo card for Rockruff. Pikachu coin, obviously. Can't forget the Pikachu coin. Rockruff card. It's a sleeve, a dragon shield sleeve, one, two, three, and a four, and a two, psychic energy, Eevee, Dew Pider, Poliwag, Pamas, Chinchow, Baldor, Lily, Metapod, Fermantis, just a common card. The last card in this pack is. Awesome! There's your code card for the Levantis GX Full Art. Awesome! I bloody love this! And it doesn't. It doesn't look off center. Yeah, it is. Top to bottom, it's off center, not left to right. So, my lo my luck with the Sun and Moon based GX pulls are continuing with they being off center. The last from Rockruff pack. If it wants to, again, if it wants to open. I think it does do as well, unfortunately. Ah, oh, there we go. There's Rock of Code. And your Rock of Promo Card. 
SM06. For those who didn't know, or just plain forgot. Four under two. Move that little bit out of the way. We've got Metal Energy, Mimini, Crab Roller, Eevee, Sandy Gas, Poliwag, Charger Bug, Rainbow Energy, Crocorock, Parasect is the reverse, that'll get us leave in a second, and a Hariyama regular rare non holographic. It's not, not bad pulls, obviously. It's awesome pulls. Last pack is a picky pack pack. Easy to see. Picky pack pack, picky pack pack, picky pack pack, picky pack. See, told you it was easy to do. <laughs> not easy to open though, is it? <laughs> Hence why I wanted to save it the last. Lunana. And your last picky pack card there. Code sign. And our last piggy pack promo card. And our last Pikachu coin. Got a few Pikachu coins as you can see. Six in total in this opening. And any others I've opened up before. Four under two. Oh, yay! <laughs> Sundial. Picky Peck, yay! I've got a Picky Peck from the Picky Peck pack and a Picky Peck promo card. <laughs> Carvana. Turkey Tomorrow. Chin Chow. How? And we have a Rishi Washi. A Lola Matakate. The reverse is a Lola Meowth. Awesome. And the last card in this opening is a regular rare uh, non holographic. Lantern. So, to review the polls, we have one reverse rare Parasect, one reverse rare Cloister, one Gumshoes EX, regular e GX, sorry, not GEX, <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> one Lurantis GX, and the best poll of the video, Lurantis GX Full Art. I'd like to thank you very much for watching my opening of the blister packs and my review of the perfect fit well, perfect fit <laughs> sleeves um, just to summarize the view of the sleeves KMC obviously it's the best ones for my needs you might change your, diff might change your mind that's okay you are well and welcome to do so I'd like to thank you very much for watching please press the like button I would love that very much. I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.